Good day, everyone. My name is Abola Deolawi, so we want to continue on our AutoCAD training. As I promised in the previous video that we are going to continue with the part of templates. So, for each work, it has, every work has a scale, and the scale determines the size of the template. For one in 500, the area is 1,600 square meters. And how is it going to be like that? It's, sorry, 16,000 square meters. 16,000 square meters. So, how are you going to draw a template for this work now? This particular plan, this particular plan is 1,500. So, I'm going to draw my my template for it now. The first thing I want to pick, I want to pick either polyline or line, but for it, well, I will pick polyline. So, pick polyline. Make sure you hone your auto. Then click so around anywhere like this, drag it to your right and press 100. 100 at this, this part is 100. This place is 100. I press 100 and see now. Bring it down, press 160. 160, enter. That's 160. Drag it to this side again. 100 again, 100, enter. And press C to close C, enter. This is the, this is the template for 1 in 500. For 1 in 1000, you see B. This multiply by two, that is, that is, line to the 200, 200, that is 100, divided by two, multiply by two, give us 200. And here, instead of 160, it will be 320 now, 320, enter, then 160 again, sorry, 200 again, 200, enter, then you can close the C, enter this this particular border will be for one in five one in one thousand and this small one is one in five hundred so how are you going to put it one basic thing in autocad is that you don't if, if you if you plot your plan with coordinate as i did for this one don't try to move or drag the main thing like this one the plan move everything to the to the plan like now, this is my move here. And just click on move and this is what I want to move. Click like this, then start moving. Then I'll put it here like this. Because my, my, my host map is on, that's why it's not going very well. So I have to take it like this, move, then I will off my auto too. So this is it now. I'll put it here. This is this is it. Then you can just go and pick the the multiline test and click it. Then start inputting the the paparazzis and this plan plan showing property set to belong to Mr. Abolade Olawuyi and the rest. Just continue typing it. And when you are through, you can just like this, breaking like this. So to make it, to have, to, to, let me make sense. Then address now, the address will be Dairo Estate Lagos. The area of my plots will be there. So how to get the area of the plot now? So you can just press OK now. You can see this is the this is the test now. I can just move the test, click on move, then pick the test and put it around here. So to know the area of my work of this particular plan, I've told you earlier that if you use polyline, you can just click on it and you get it. But if you are not using polyline, just press, just escape everything and press area in this command button, in this command line. So A R E A. After pressing media, press enter, then click on the four points in normal sequence. Like I, I want to start with this one now. One, I've clicked on this. I'll move to the next one. Two, I'll click on this two. I'll move to the third one. Then the fourth one, two. And press enter. Once I press enter, you can see this is my area at this command. Area. This is my this area of my work. You can drag it up to see very well. This is the area. 
this is the area and this is the perimeter so for this particular work now you can see that this is the area you can just copy it like this drag align it then copy copy once, once you copy and bring it down and double click on the test you you've written double click then you can see you can just come down area here which is auto i will now paste control v this is what i now i will now put meter squared meter squared ah, i'm not going to put this square there. some people will leave it like this but there's a better way to put this square there. come to this button option then go to symbols when you get to symbols you will see squared just click on squared you can see that this is my square now it's very okay i'm not putting two or any other nonsense there so this is my square this is how you put it then you can align or you can underline underline it to make it or you, and you can italic to if you want so you can leave that and you can change the test size maybe this is 1.3 you can change it to two but for this for the particular for this particular work the test of one in 500 work let, let me put it in black and white so that you can let me write it down so that you can see it very well test test size one ratio 500 the test size will be 1.2 one ratio 1000 the test size will be 2.4 then you ju can just continue like that continue like that continue like that that's for the test size and for for the template for the border the border border one in 500 It will be 100 in that is the breadth is 100 it will the rectangle the breadth is 100 by 160 and for one one ratio 1000 it will be 200 by 320 and can continue multiplying it like that continue multiplying like that that's the the standard that that I use. I don't know for someone else for that I use that I've, and I've been using for the past five to six years. So this is what I use, and nobody has ever complained on it that it's too big or it's too small. I can't see. So that's about about the test, the test size and the border. So and one of some things that needs to be there is this this column, sorry this area the, for plan number. You can just come and pick polyline here. After picking polyline, then on your auto, you can off your snap if you like. Just click somewhere around here and like this. Like you can leave it like this. Escape. Then you can come here and click on your trim. Right click. Then trim. Trim. You can see that this is just, that's, that's just your column for that's just the column for, uh, the, the box for for plan number. You can, and you can put your plan number there. Are you going to put your plan number? The test number test. Click here plan number you can just this is where i put it i like i like it my home plan space number then space space enter 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 again then ocean o s slash one zero zero seven this is the one zero seven is the obvious ratio number slash twenty nineteen that is the year of the plan and the number don't mind this guy control z and number zero zero one so if I leave it like this, align, let me align here at the center and at the middle. Okay, like this. If I put it here, you can see this is my plan number. You can see that this this is too, this box is too big. Then you can draw another one by pulling line. Click like this. This one should be okay. Now I'll just come and trim it and click on this one and delete bit so you can see is is my work is getting better and this one you just need to edit it now i will quickly i will quickly copy a, a templates a plan templates to, to see how it looks like so that you can actually know how it is let me open one for you the one of one of the things i've done this particular one the one i've done so this is it you can see now this is the it this is the plan so this is how you write the the plan number and the rest and on how to draw this 
for this representative scale for this this scale this particular scale i'll be teaching you how to how to how to design it in subsequent videos so thank you Ooh, lo, 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 la, 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 la.